Hi, in this video I will talk about lumbar radicular syndrome which is commonly known as sciatica. So what is sciatica? Sciatica is pain going all the way down the leg due to a pinched nerve root in the spine which is usually caused either by a herniated disc, a bulging disc touching the nerve root causing inflammation and pain along the dermatomal distribution of that nerve root or due to bony stenosis or bony narrowing in the spine. This is an MRI image of a patient with sciatica. This is a picture from the side. The patient is facing this way. This is the stomach. This is the back. Now these squares that you see here are the bones in the spine, the vertebral bodies. Between them are the discs. This is a disc. This is a disc. And you can think of the disc as a jelly uh, donut. There is a jelly material inside which is white, we call that the nucleus pulposus and around it there is a dark wall, the annulus fibrosus. A normal disc looks like this one or like this one, right in the inside, good disc height here and not bulging out toward this space. This is the space where the nerves are, it's called the spinal canal and the disc should not go here. Yeah. So the problem is here, you see this disc between L4, this is L4, this is L5, this disc here, much darker, which means there's degeneration in the disc, it lost uh, some of that jelly inside, and it's bulging out. There's a disc protrusion here, all of that is, 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 is a disc protrusion, and that's narrowing the space and impinging this nerve root that goes all the way down the leg, okay, the L5 nerve root causing pain along the dermatomal distribution of this nerve. The good news about sciatica is that it does have a favorable prognosis. Most patients with sciatica improve, especially if it's caused by a herniated disc. I frequently get asked by patients, does that herniated portion of the disc go back in? It never goes back in. However, our bodies have cells called macrophages. They release substances called metalloproteases, which can dissolve that herniated portion of the disc. So it can slowly shrink until it gets to the point that it does not cause problems anymore. So how do we treat sciatica? Treatment depends on the severity of the pain. If the pain is mild, we start physical therapy. We use non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medications like ibuprofen, naproxen, or meloxicam. We also use medications for nerve pain like gabapentin, brigabalin, or duloxetine. If the pain is significant, we can also do epidural steroid injections. In these injections, we drive a needle under x-ray to the affected nerve root and we inject a numbing medication and the steroid around the nerve root to wash out the inflammatory mediators, decrease the inflammation and hopefully help with the pain. It's important to note that these injections do not actually fix the problem. They do not push the herniated disc away from the nerve root or make it shrink faster. However, the idea is that we control the pain to give the body time to hopefully take care of the problem on its own. I frequently get asked by patients, do I need surgery? Most patients with sciatica do not need surgery. In this study, patients who actually consented for surgery were offered up to two epidural steroid injections followed by an aggressive rehabilitation program. At one year, they found that 78% of these patients avoided surgery and 62% of them reported almost complete resolution of their pain and complete functional recovery. So most patients with sciatica do not need surgery. However, surgery has its indications. If the pain is persistent, severe, not improving with all the conservative treatment modalities we discussed from epidural steroid injections to medications and physical therapy, then surgery may be needed to decompress the nerve root and hopefully help with the pain. Another indication for surgery is if there is progressive weakness in the leg muscles. Sometimes that compression of the nerve root can result in nerve root damage and weakness in the muscles innervated by that nerve root. If that's progressing, then surgery may be needed to stop that from getting worse. That can be followed by physical therapy to improve the strength in the leg muscles. Thank you.